Good morning. We are rolling right into Tuesday with our second crock pot meal. This is lasagna um, or crock pot lasagna, and it's pretty simple. I'm going to need a crock pot, of course. You're going to need some lasagna noodles, some prego or whatever kind of pasta sauce you want. You need one jar. I'm making a little bit bigger of a batch, and I had some left over, so I'm using that. You need some cottage cheese or ricotta, whichever one you like. I prefer cottage. Some Italian blend cheese. Some hamburger or ground chuck or whatever kind of meat you want to use if you're using meat. You could also add any other vegetables that you want, such as an onion with the hamburger meat. You could add mushrooms, um, even bell pepper, whatever makes you happy. This is a pretty basic recipe right here, and um, I'm just going to stick to normal ingredients. First thing, brown your hamburger. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. This takes about seven to eight hours in the crock pot. So you want to be sure to get it done in the morning if you want dinner in the evening. So I'm going to get started and get the hamburger browned up. You are also going to need your spices um, for what you would normally use in your lasagna. I have a whole bunch of Italian spices in the cabinet. But one of my favorite spices is the tangy Italian spice from this um, a spaghetti dinner box or whatever, just add tomato paste it says, but I just use the, um, spice mix, and then I kind of get rid of everything else. So, that is what we're going to get started. I'm getting ready to brown the hamburger up, and we'll get started. Okay, the sauce is done. All I did was brown up the hamburger, add in the jar of pasta sauce, but since I'm making a little extra, I used about a jar and a half and added in my spices and now all we're going to do is build the lasagna so i like to spray it with some non-cooking spray the inside just because it makes it easier to clean up <clears throat> all you're going to do is ladle i've already put a lot in here um some of your sauce on bottom um, and then you're going to move this. You're basically going to just build your lasagna inside. Now this one fits, but you're going to have to break your pieces of your noodles and just kind of fit them in how you can. Not a big deal if they're not perfect. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm going to layer it with some cottage cheese now. You can use ricotta or whatever kind of cheese you like. I like cottage cheese in mine. Um, everybody's different. Just use what you have. Just layer it in there. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't really matter. It can all cook together anyway. Add a little bit of your Italian cheese. more sauce I do recommend that if you're doing this with hamburger like I am make a little extra I think it would come out uh, probably a little better like, um, with a little extra pasta sauce again the one in the middle I'm going to break them oops there it goes break them right over your little crock pot and then that way if you got pieces they'll just fall in there and see I'm doing it one handed doesn't really matter how you layer your noodles in there okay more cottage cheese smooth it all out More cheese. Now back to the hamburger meat. You just want to keep layering. Okay. 
Again, it doesn't matter how perfect your shut meals are. We're going to cook and nobody's going to know it anyway. Okay. We're going to layer it up with more meat and cheese. Okay. I, this is the very top. I'm going to dump the rest of my cheese right over those noodles. Now, I have more cheese in the fridge, but for right now, this is all it's going to take to get it cooking and get it going right before you serve it up. If you want to add a little more cheese, that would be fine. And that is what it looks like. Now, we're going to put a lid on it. But first, you want to fill up your pasta or your, um, your sauce, mostly with water, so you get all that tomato-y like, liquid, and you're going to just dump it over. You're just dumping it over, giving it a little water in there. Okay. Then you're just going to put your lid on, <coughs> turn it on high. This one goes high six hours or four hours, and then low um, on ten hours and eight hours. So I'm going to cook it on high for six. And then I'll probably switch it over to high on four, but it won't take that long. So there you have it. Dinner number two is underway right now. It is 8.30 in the morning. And our dinner is going to be cooking itself right here by itself um, on the counter while I do what I want to do today. Love it. I'm serving this up with garlic bread and a salad. Okay, so the lasagna has been cooking for about 9 hours. I put it in at about 8.30. It's about 5.30, almost 6 here. So, um, this is what it looks like. You can see where it's gotten getting all crusty and stuff on the edges, which is my favorite part. Now, I want to add some extra cheese to the top, so I'm just using this Italian blend. The same kind I used to make it. I'm just going to layer it all over the top. I mean, I'm going to use a lot. You could use low fat, whatever, or you don't even have to put more cheese on it. But we, we are a cheese-loving family. So, I want to make it where my husband would really like it. So, I'm basically using the Hope bag right on the top. I just finished dumping out the rest. Okay. So there's the whole bag. I put a nice coat of cheese over it. I'm going to put the lid back on and let the cheese get all gooey. And make a quick salad. Put some um, lasagna or some um, garlic rolls in the oven. And dinner is served, my friends. It smells amazing and I can't wait to taste it. I'll be back to show you what it looks like plated up. Okay, so I dug into the lasagna. a lot of lasagna in that thing and here is dinner I'm serving it with um, a simple side salad and um, a garlic roll and that crock pot lasagna looks amazing so I'm gonna enjoy dinner and you guys stay tuned for crock pot night number three which is a broccoli cheddar soup. So excited about that. It's one of my most favorite soups of all time. And um, super happy that I'm about to enjoy this lasagna. Bye-bye.